Heather Lawrence, online chef for Grow Alabama. Today's recipe was submitted by one of our subscribers and our wonderful uh, viewers. It's going to be from Trudy Lawrence, no relation, but it's going to be for a watercress pesto. And what I chose to do was uh, to toss that pesto with a little bit, uh, one box of the Botaha pasta. I went ahead and cooked it al dente to where it's uh, slightly firm. And also, I chose to add one to one and a half cups of rotisserie chicken. I just did the original chicken. And our pesto is going to consist of a quarter cup of toasted pecans. We have one half teaspoon of minced garlic. And this is uh, just fresh off the truck. Actually, they are still unloading this. Uh, this is going to be two cups of loosely packed watercress. So now we have took our uh, food processor and we put all of our ingredients for our watercress pesto into it and blended it up. Now all we have to do is take some of our pesto, one tablespoon or so. We're going to take it and we're going to toss it with our pasta. Then you're going to take your chicken, add it to your pesto pasta. You're going to toss that up. You guys are like me sometimes you often make a recipe and you have a little extra left over a good use of this uh, watercress pesto is to take your regular ice tray and just fill the little cubes with about one tablespoon of your pesto pop them in the freezer and freeze them for at least 24 to 48 hours until they're firm pop them out and put them in a baggie and you have fresh watercress pesto throughout the summer and there you have it guys, watercress pesto with botal pasta and rotisserie chicken. And that's all for this week, but until next week, you can follow us on Facebook at Grow Alabama, YouTube on Grow Alabama TV, or you can contact me at growalabamachef.aol.com. Have a great week.